Hi friends. Tonight we're going to read a story called Sometimes I'm Afraid, a book about fear by Michael Ann Mundy. And my friends at St. Meinrad's Abbey Press allowed us to read this book tonight, so thank you very much to them for letting us read this Care Notes book. So here we go. Sometimes I'm Afraid, a book about fear. What does afraid feel like? You've been afraid, so you already know what it feels like. It can be a cold and chilly feeling or a shaking, quaking feeling all over. It's a funny feeling in your stomach, maybe even a stomach ache. It is mainly a bad feeling and one that you feel like you can't make better. But there are ways to make things better. It's okay, it's good to be afraid of some things. Everyone is afraid of something, and that's good. Being afraid of fire, or afraid to run out into the street, being afraid of strangers, or to hit a great big bully, is a good thing. Being careful is important. If you were never afraid, you might do things that could hurt you or put you in danger. Being afraid can also be a problem. If you are afraid of too many things though, it can be a problem. It can keep you from learning, from sleeping, from having fun. You might not discover a fun ride at the amusement park or the, that the cold water in the swimming pool feels warmer after a while. Being afraid can even get us into trouble. If you accidentally break something, your dad or mom might ask, who broke that? You might be afraid to say that you broke it because you don't want anyone to be mad at you. If you don't say anything or tell a lie, you might get someone else in trouble. That doesn't feel good either. Be brave. It's always better to tell the truth and that takes courage. Courage is what we need. Having courage means we do things that are right, even when we are afraid. This might mean raising your hand in class, even if you are not sure you have the right answer. It might mean being nice to someone that no one else seems to like. <clears throat> what can we do when we're afraid? Lots of times it helps to talk with mom or dad an adult friend or a teacher about something you are afraid of. They can often help you. They will understand. People older than you have been and are still afraid of some things too, like sharks or getting lost or going to a new place. Something that you can do for real is just to quiet down. Breathe very slowly in and out. In and out. This can help the scared feeling a lot. A lot of grown-ups do this before they give a speech or before they start a new job. Even better ways to handle being afraid. Learning about the things you are afraid of can help. It's called getting the facts. If you are afraid a monster is living under your bed, you can read about other children who were afraid of this and how they handled it. Sometimes these stories will make you laugh and feel better. Are you afraid of the dark? At night, when things get quiet, you may sometimes hear noises and wonder what they are, or maybe you think you can see things that aren't really there. Your sleepy mind can trick you. 
Maybe a nightlight in your room can help chase away the shadows and let you see that everything is all right. These sounds may be coming from the street outside your house or from your sister's video game. Thinking happy thoughts can help. Maybe you can't sleep because you are afraid of something that might happen at school tomorrow or at the doctor's office. It helps to think happy thoughts. The teacher or the doctor want to help you, not hurt you. Yes, it hurts a little to get a shot and it hurts inside when the teacher asks you and you don't know the answer to a question. But things like these help us stay healthy and keep learning things. Thinking of God's love and care helps too. The Bible is full of stories that tell us not to be afraid. It does not say that some bad things will not happen, but it does say that God's love and the love from our family and neighbors and friends and even strangers will help us no matter what might happen. being afraid of strangers. Your parents may tell you not to talk to strangers if you are not with a grown up. Everyone is a stranger the first time we meet them. Your teacher was a stranger on the first day of school. We always want to try to be safe, but if we were afraid of everyone we do not know, it would be a scary world. Afraid of making mistakes? We all want to do what is right. Everyone wishes they knew all the answers in a test or at school. We all wish we could speak and act perfectly. All of your life you will learn more and more things you did not know before. Making mistakes and being afraid of failing at something is normal. It means you want to learn. And then you work harder and remember things for the next time. You can help someone else who is afraid. If you notice a friend is afraid of something, or if someone tells you they are afraid, maybe you can help. You can do this by listening to them, by telling them what you did when you were afraid. You can also help them by just being their friend. So I hope that each of you will remember when you feel afraid that it's normal to feel scared and fear can feel like a very powerful emotion or feeling in our body. And it's good to talk to an adult that you trust about what you feel afraid of. And it's good for them to listen to you and say, yes, I can understand that that feels scary. All of us feel afraid sometimes. And I hope that you'll remember when you feel afraid that you can take deep breaths in and out. You can talk to adults and friends that you trust and tell them the truth about how you're feeling. You can learn about what you feel afraid of. And you can also pray and talk to God when you feel afraid or ask an adult or a friend to pray with you. Let's pray together. God, thank you that no matter how big and scary our fear might feel, that your love is even bigger than our fear. God, we thank you that you hold the whole world in your hands. You hold each one of us and love each one of us. And you are with us no matter what. 
Thank you for all the people that you have brought into our lives. Remind us to be kind to one another and take care of each other. Amen. All right, I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.